Okay, we're back with the American Mark. I've got it about as far disassembled as I'm going to take it. Both cylinders off, both pistons off, both injection pumps off at the lift pump. Everything looks, everything looks clean down in the case. You see there's two massive taper roller bearings for the mains. Nice bronze bushings for the uh, crank for the um, wrist pin. Really nice. Definitely uh, was a good idea to take the cylinders and everything off. They definitely needed it. I'll show you on this cylinder here the damage, why the engine wouldn't turn over all the way. I'll have to uh, have to correct that. Really beefy, uh, beefy engine. Really massive, thick flywheel. Solid. Like I said before, I oil in the fuel filter. A little electric fuel pump down here, but there's also a uh, cam operator fuel pump that sits right in between the injection pumps. Looks like a few things have been changed around on this since it was last, uh, I guess, in service. So I'll have to straighten those out. I've already got uh, the injectors apart. Cleaned the one up. I'm cleaning the one up now. The other, the other side up now. They're in good shape. I haven't gone into the inje injection pumps yet, but if they're anything like the injectors, they'll be fine. But that's this is as far as I'm going to go with this engine. I'm not going to touch the governor. Um, I'm not going to pull uh, pull the um, flywheel off and check the gears or anything because I turned it over. Everything everything seems all right. I will drain the oil, of course, and uh, flush the case. But uh, that's about all I'm going to do. I'll take you up in the shop now and uh, show you the cylinders. Alright, here are the two American Mark cylinders. This is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. I've uh, started cleaning up the left hand side a little bit. This is the, the one injector I've taken apart and cleaned. It's in good shape internally. There's a little bit of pitting up near the nozzle, but nothing Nothing that will affect it. I've taken uh, both the valves out of the head. You can see there's a little bit of surface rust on the seats. But uh, I don't think it's anything that won't clean up with one or two rounds of lapping. Valve guides are very tight. Valve seals are in good condition. The valves themselves I have in baggies so I don't get them mixed up, but they're also in good shape. No real problems with this. Now I'll show you the problem with the cylinder. That side. You can see that there. Piece missing, broken off. Now it looks fairly recent. There's no rusting. And uh, you can see the associated damage to the piston.
see how it's been pushed out, pushed in. Piston rides like that in the cylinder. Now what I think happened is, uh, well this cylinder was full of, you know, rusty gunk and dirt and, you know, whatnot. You know, what you'd expect to find from an engine that's been sitting so long. Had moisture get into it and everything. Well, I think what happened was somebody went and hooked, hooked a battery up to it, tried to start it. They didn't turn it over all the way by hand. Somebody went and tried to start it. Piston came right up and uh, it crushed a whole bunch of you know, rusty metal. Well, not, not metal, but dirt and flakes of rust up in the cylinder. And that's what caused the piston to be deformed like that. And when the piston deformed, it uh, you know it mushroomed out a little bit, and that cracked a chunk off out of the cylinder. Now, luckily, I have this piece. When I pulled the head off, it was sitting right there. So what I'll end up having to do, put the piece back on there. I'll probably weld it on the outside and the inside, then grind it down. It'd be pretty tedious to grind it and get the sealing surface perfectly square and grind it on the inside so it's flush and then I uh, had to file it because this is the head gasket sealing surface right here of course so have to file that and make it perfect but I think it'll be uh, salvageable well it's got to be salvageable so cause I'm not going to find another one of these so it'll run and then as far as the piston goes I'll just have to um, file it concentric again. That dent's just gonna have to have to be there. But I don't think it'll really affect anything. You can see the rings, uh top ring looks you know perfectly fine. A little bit of pitting on the center ring and on the lower compression ring. But they'll clean up just fine. The oil ring's okay, nothing's cracked. They are all stuck in their grooves, but uh I can get them out. So, that'll be alright. It's a project. As far as the other cylinder goes, that's in fine shape. You know, it needs honing and everything. Pistons in the same condition, with, but, you know, except for the damage. Rings are stuck, but should be reusable with the cleanup and everything. Um, like I said, I've got to hone the cylinders. There's um, a little bit of a uh, little bit of pitting in a few locations. I'll show you on this one. Just from sitting, um, not that bad. Yeah. Seen worse engines that ran just fine. A little bit of honing should deglaze it and clean it up just fine. So that's the only real problem right there. Got the injection pumps off. Kinda tried to keep them all together. I think I said before that they're, they're Bosch injection pumps. I should clean up just fine. This is the little lift pump I was telling you about. Little diaphragm pump. The uh, the racks are tight, but I want to take them apart and free everything up. It'll be perfect. Ready to go back together. So. Really neat looking uh, cylinders. Almost looks uh, you know, like an old radial aircraft engine big air-cooled cylinder. I'm pretty surprised myself that the uh, I thought the bolt would be larger you know, given the size of the cylinder but and this, the overall size of the engine but uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, if I can find specs on the engine what it was rated at horsepower wise. 
Yeah, that's that.